Hi, GA counters. Today I'm gonna have a short video showing you how to bulk upload invoices from your Google Sheets to QuickBooks using GACon. So in here, I have got an invoice template that I did set up with GACon just to give you guys an idea of how I set this up. I set up an invoice template and selected the specific fields that are pertinent to um, invoice information and being able to upload into QuickBooks. So I didn't select all of the fields, but I'm gonna show you right now. These are the specific ones that I've got down. So we've got customer reference, customer ID and name, due date, invoice ID and number, the amount, class name, description, detail type, quantity, service date, and unit price. We've got location name, reference number, sales term reference, and term ID, and then the TXN date. So this is the ideal template for uploading and updating invoices out of Google Sheets. Now you can see here, I have about four invoices, brand new invoice information that I've got in here that does not yet have an invoice ID and is not yet in QuickBooks. To upload, I'm gonna start by highlighting all of the rows for all the invoices I would like uploaded into QuickBooks. I'm gonna go to GACon for QuickBooks and upload accounting data to GACon. So, this window is going to pop up and you can see for row selection mode, I've got currently selected rows. That's why we did that highlight right here. So it knows these are the rows with the information I'd like to push into QuickBooks. We're going to have the QuickBooks object be invoices. The operation we're going to be using here is insert because this is brand new invoices that we're inserting, not updating of current information. The address of my first table header cell at A1, and so our results as to whether it's successfully updated will pop up in column R. Okay, so going to look at column R, we see that we have successfully uploaded these invoices into QuickBooks. They now have IDs. Clicking on this, we can do a quick double check on that. So we clicked on one of our first invoices with test 41, it's got a few um, specific line items. As you can see, invoice number test 41, we've got our specific line items. We can see now that our invoices have successfully been uploaded into QuickBooks from Google Sheets, all thanks to GACon. Stay tuned for our next video where I'm going to show you how to update invoice information out of Google Sheets into your QuickBooks using GACon. Talk to you guys soon.